Now the National Assembly is tomorrow set to debate proposed changes in the way security is handled in the country. 30 pieces of legislation touching on security of the country have been earmarked for amendment with the public having a chance today to contribute to the bills. This is opposition members raised the red flag over the proposed changes terming them draconian. KTN's Aaron Ocheng begins our coverage tonight. The Administration and National Security Committee of the National Assembly had a lot on its plate Wednesday to finalize the Security Laws Amendment Bill 2014 that proposes radical changes in the security operations of the country. After a first reading on the floor of the House Tuesday evening and with only 24 hours publication period, it was the turn of the members of the public to give their input into the bill before it is debated tomorrow by members of the National Assembly. Now I want to mention uh, that uh, a few areas that uh, this bill uh, is touching and as I said earlier even in the floor of Parliament that uh, the bill intends to amend over 30 acts which are related to security. That there are too many, too many arms in the wrong hands. Everybody nowadays applies a firearm and the following day you have it. So if everybody has a gun in this country, or too many people have guns in this country, uh, be sure that uh, there will be a lot of uh, pronounced uh, insecurity because... Specifically about uh, terrorism, now, we are treason. Up what I know as the Kubaliwe, arrest, even shoot. Among other changes, the bill proposes to jail journalists for up to five years or fine them five million shillings or both if found guilty of undermining investigations or security operations through their broadcast or publications. Anyone who publishes photographs of victims of terrorism without the consent of the police can be jailed for three years or fined five million shillings or both. The bill also proposes to allow the national security organs to intercept communications for purposes of detecting, deterring and disrupting terrorism and related activities. It also establishes a counter-terrorism center to coordinate national counter-terrorism efforts. For refugees in the country, the bill proposes a maximum number of 150,000 refugees at any given time in the country. Kenyans on social media should also be on the lookout, especially those who post updates that praise, advocate or incite acts of terrorism that they risk getting in prison for over 20 years. Part of the proposal also touches on issue of stripping of women as it was witnessed recently. Those found guilty face up to 20 years in jail. Any form of demonstration will also have to be conducted at designated areas only. Opposition members of the Senate are raising concern over the speed in which the bill has been fast-tracked and some of the proposals fronted, terming them draconian. Will be resisted, including going to defend the provisions in the Constitution in courts of law. Therefore, I'm calling upon the media particularly you know, to take this, not to take this lying down, because um, the mainstream media did not suffer as much as in individual journalists at that time. The bill will be debated Thursday. Over 30 pieces of legislation have been proposed to be amended touching on security of the country. But already questions are being asked as to whether the proposed changes are a direct infringement of the human rights of the people of the country or the recent security lapses in the country is a justification for the changes. Aaron Ochen, KTN, Nairobi.